Did I tell y'all that the date changed? That it was due Friday? The date on the calendar was the 18th, but technically the date should have been the 15th. This is my pot of greens, and I cook them in my little um, pressure cooker. It's okay to pivot. Good morning and happy Sunday. I hope y'all had a wonderful day yesterday. Um, the day turned out to be fun. I ended up not making it to my niece's competition, which I was bummed about it, but at the same time, I spent the day um, with my husband and meeting college friends. Yesterday was their um, school homecoming. So I went to homecoming with my husband and had a really good time. Um, Y'all, you know I was supposed to go to the orchard this morning and pick the apples and the sunflowers and the pumpkins. Yeah, that didn't happen. Why? Because I can barely lift my arm. I don't remember, <clears throat> for some reason, my arm being this sore from my last booster, but I know it was sore, but I remember it being as sore as it is now. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to overdo it. So I'm still gonna go. Uh, but it's not it just this morning. It just was not ha happening. And on top of that, we got back home pretty late last night. Um, so yeah, once we both got in and um, showered and stuff, I was like, oh my god, my arm is hurting. Now the one with the flu shot, that one is sore, but not as sore. But this one right here, little Miss COVID, child, mm, it is so or. Um, so. I need to, um, I needed to just like not over um, exert myself, but rest assured we're still gonna go. I'm gonna decorate my parents' house today. So I'm actually finally on the way to Dollar Tree to pick up the decorations that I'm gonna use to go along with the ones that I already have over their house. All right, so they have some nice um, glasses. These are glasses different cups and bowls and you can get you some drying mats home for the holidays i may pick up a couple of those for thanksgiving oh my god it looks like they only have um christmas stuff did i miss all the fall flowers oh, i'm so mad at myself oh my god they have very few fall decorations Very few fall decorations. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I missed everything. Okay, so I came up with <clears throat> some little vase ideas. Let me turn around. Something similar to that, because it's just gonna be there. Then I'm gonna put the pumpkins on the table, and I'm gonna fill that can up with some other stuff. Okay, so I came back over to pick up another one of the clay masks that I have, but I don't see that. But they do have this cucumber and pink grapefruit. And then they have a honey cleanse and relax. I think I'm gonna try this one. And they have so many sheet masks. So I'm thinking I wanna try this collagen one. And, huh, look, this is cool anti-pollution oh these are two packs clay masks um, gel cream mask hydrating and then here's the charcoal sheet mask evening primrose let's see i don't know oh look they have some eye masks i mean some um eye pads I don't see the ones that I had the last time, so that's a bummer, because I really like those. But as you can see, they have a pretty decent selection of things. So I did manage to get pretty much the things that I was looking for. Um, they did have fall flowers outside, so the only thing that I didn't find was like garland because I wanted to use like the leaf garland on the table. Um, but what I'm gonna do instead is take the 
fruits and things that I have for a cornucopia and I'm gonna actually sit that in a basket and have that on the table. So my next stop is um, the grocery store. I swear for goodness, I go to the grocery store more than anybody, I feel like. <laughs> like I live in the grocery store. So I'm gonna go and pick up a few things um, from the store to go with dinner. I still have to figure out what I wanna fix for Wednesday, Thursday. I'm doing the honey garlic chicken today. You know what I haven't made in a while? Stuffed chicken breasts. Because I've done stuffed chicken breasts before. I slice them, <coughs> excuse me, and I stuff them with, um, it's like a spinach and cheese mixture. I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. So these are the little arrangements that I was in. I mean, the not arrangements, the stuff I found. And I thought this was cute. That's cute. I'm gonna use this in here and put this on the table in there. And you got more money probably all of them. I'm saying all of them. You gonna take that meat out. Wow. I just saw them getting out of the car. I wasn't sure if they were going to going back in here. That's me when I was younger and my sister. Gonna sit that there. And then the other one is gonna go over hey, here. It's your old car here. Remember me? Probably right there. Remember us. You I'm gonna try to do something around here. Oh, where y'all get these lollipops from? Where y'all get lollipops from? like me can bring significant funds to public television so call or donate online here's the table and i just added those to the window You got a little fresh fruit rubs there. Well, you can keep that going, you know. Uh, Y'all I'm going down here. Oh, so I'm really not really feeling all that great right now, so I'm probably not gonna do a cook with me, but I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking. And then probably in tomorrow's video, I'll show you the food that I cooked. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, fix them. These are one of our favorite rolls. This is going to be for the honey garlic chicken. I'm going to fix some green beans. I got my 
rutabagas to go in my greens. I'm gonna do collards and collard and um, turnip greens. Are these turnip greens? Handover greens. I think these handovers. They had them in a the turnip green spot though. Um, they might be mustard. Girl, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna fix the greens. This, yeah, these are like, they're not mustard greens. I think they're handovers, but I'm gonna fix them too. I'm gonna do like a mixture. Put some smoked turkey in the greens and some smoked turkey in the green beans. This is gonna be diced and put in the greens. Fix some rice and mm, pesto. Some It's like a butter pesto pasta that I make. So I'm gonna make that also. And, ooh, I might not be making it. I thought I had more pesto than this. Okay, no pesto. So I'm just probably gonna do some, oh, a lemon, lemon butter garlic noodles. So that's what I'll fix. And I have plenty of garlic, plenty of lemon, and plenty of butter. So yeah. And I'm gonna use the minced garlic in the, um, in the noodles just because it'll give it more flavor because of the juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all, all my stuff and get a nice size lemon. Wait, go on. I'm gonna use a smaller lemon. And then that's gonna be that. Right now, I'm gonna take it out. Hey y'all, good morning. It's Monday and I have been working for a while. Um, I did not get to record any of what I fixed for dinner. Um, the element in our oven went out. So I kind of had to finish cooking stove top, which I really did not want to do. So I'm gonna order an element today so that that can be put in because we need the oven. I need the oven so I can bake. I had rolls ready for last night. I need to get to bake those, which I didn't feel like it anyway, to be honest, because I felt horrible yesterday. Broke my Look, my glasses broke, so I got a piece of cotton so that the plastic don't cut into my face. I look crazy. <laughs> But it's helping, so I'll get the glasses fixed at some time. It's just it's not going to be this this week because I don't have time. I do not have time to go and drop them off and wait for them to fix them. And these can't be fixed anyway, as far as I'm concerned. I have, I have three additional frames that I can get my prescription put in, which that's going to cause a problem um, because I'm going to have to wait. And I need my glasses so I can see. I might have to get some readers while they do them. However, you know what though? It's just dawned on me. I can wear my old glasses. They're not the best, but I can still see with them. Um, and then y'all know my clear frames. I told y'all I broke the arm on one of it. Well, I, I don't know what's going on with me. I never broke glasses, nor did I ever lose glasses. And here I go, two pair of broken glasses. Child. Um, but yeah, today I got quite a bit to do on my reports. Um, I need to have this submitted Wednesday. So I have a lot of work that I have got to get done, um, within these next two days, three days. It's Monday. So yeah, it's going to be hectic. So, um, I may not, um, be able to record. Um, I, I don't want to commit to it. Like say that I'm going to do recordings every day this week. As you can see, I'm already somewhat behind as is. Because I didn't post yesterday. But I'm going to post yesterday's today. So the video that goes up tonight will be the 13th and 14th. So um, it will get posted tonight. But I don't know how the rest of this week is going to go just because um yeah i'm not sure how this week is gonna go at least the earlier part of the week i know by the end of the week um i'll be fine because all of the heavy lifting for this report will be done but i just wanted to um appeal response letter 
I just wanted to say good morning and let y'all know what was going on over here. And the overpayment amount. Ooh, they owe us a lot. Ooh. Now I'll probably check in with y'all a little bit later to see what y'all are up to, to see how y'all been doing. All right, I made a good dent in the report that I have to do. Did I tell y'all that the date changed, that it was due Friday? The date on the calendar was the 18th, but technically the date should have been the 15th. So I really have a lot going on today. I'm like taking a break right now, but instead of it being due on Friday, it is now due tomorrow, like for real. So the greens are done. Um, I think I told y'all I put a little piece of turnip and a little piece of rutabaga in my greens and I tasted them and they are turnip greens. So they're not mustard greens there. And I remember mustard greens a little curlier. So my mustard, still saying it wrong. My turnip greens and my um, collards with the smoked turkey and the little piece of rutabaga and turnip is done. So I'm gonna show y'all that. So this is my pot of greens and I cooked them in my little um, pressure cooker. This is my pressure cooker. And so they're all done. They taste amazing. And I just ate a bowl of them. It's a really nice fall day. I wish I had a portable monitor like that I could attach to my laptop screen. That way I would have two screens and I could just sit outside and work because I got my TV. I could really sit out here and work. Um, on days like today but i don't so i can't right now i'm ready to go back upstairs and get back to work because yeah we got a lot to do all right y'all so i'm back and a couple things two i'm i'm looking over here at the viewfinder because i have the grid lines on now so i'm trying to make sure that i'm centered but um and i'm back because i hadn't really been using my camera like talking about it because it was so dark so i had to play around with the exposure and all these different things i'm learning a lot about my camera sony zv1f just in case anybody cares that's what my camera is i have a sony zv1f and i can actually see now because it was let me show y'all you how dark the camera was at one time this would be how i was looking and i would be in a place that was fully lit well lit so now that i have fixed it she back y'all she back but I really came back to finish today's video with two lessons for myself and it may be beneficial to someone else. Lesson number one, it is okay to pivot. So my goal was to do a video every single day this month. With my work schedule right now, I know for a fact that after this week is over, then I can do it. But this week, I'm not gonna be able to do a video every single day. So they're probably gonna be like collective days, two to three days per video. And that is fine with me because I may not be reaching that goal the way that I planned, but I'm still going to reach the goal because I want to participate in Vlogtober because I actually enjoyed it last year. So even if it's not every day, I'm still participating. Pivoting is okay. That was my lesson to myself, number one. I learned the lesson that I need to make sure that I've pre-recorded footage and gotten videos and bits and pieces of things that I would like to use for Vlogtober. With that being said, and the lessons that I have taken in account for myself, hopefully they will apply to something that you've been pondering over in your life. But I am going to bid you adieu. And remember, it's okay to pivot. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all later on in the week. Bye.